It was during the Christmas season in 1989. I was 17 years old when it first happened to me. Jesus came to me in a dream and changed my life forever. And he told me if I wrote this in a book, he would appear to millions all over the world. And it's happening now. I was 17 years old when I was smoking dope, drinking, partying, having sex before me as a person. And I was the leader of the gang at the age of 17 years old. Jesus appeared to me in a dream in my sleep. Of course, people think, you know, Jesus comes in yeah, the dream so you know amazing, it was just a dream you know that the bible says that the lord appeared to Solomon by night in the dream and said that's what you do that's what you ask for wisdom and we know god gave you wisdom he says i also give you riches and when he woke up he says and behold it was a dream but we know there was an impartation that happened because he became the most rich and wisest man in the world but that's what kind of happened to me i had a dream where the lord appeared to me he was in this most beautiful white this gorgeous white is he had such a humble demeanor. He's a humble man. And that's what I remember. I don't know what he was wearing, but his eyes, the love in his eyes, and he knew that he was Jesus. Jesus. That's what he said to me. I saw him in the white robe, and he didn't move his mouth, but I could hear him. He no, stood there with a smile on his face, but his eyes full of light and love. Confused. He said, Follow me. I knew he wanted me to give my life to him. I knew he wanted me to come out of the world to him and give my heart to him. I felt God kinds of power and electricity going you, through, you know, from that, I mean, from that glory that was coming off of him, his presence. Things. I was changed. I knew something had happened to me after I saw him. And after he spoke to me, I had never had this God is the creator. Throughout the years, David E. Taylor's relationship with the Lord things. deepened through this personal pursuit of him and the Lord the appearing continually to him. Face see face. Jesus Christ as he tells me, he says, I want you to write your testimony in a book now. Every person who reads this book, I will appear to them. He says, and this message will go for later. And Based also tell me where this is in the word. When I say that I want to come and fight, I sit your life as a regular testimony. I have to appear to them for one is life. A life. And show them the scriptures where I have Do done this. Be and how I'm bringing this back to them. He was bigger than religion. This prayer, Jesus started appearing to bigger than religion, face to face. This is all about having a spiritual and the physical realm all over the world. Here are just a few testimonies of the millions who have experienced this face-to-face visitations from Jesus after reading David E. Taylor's book and coming into contact with the face-to-face ministry he has today. Service they come, at, they come after the Bible. And you had said ahead of time, which is amazing in itself, that but, the Lord is But I want you to understand and, uh, and I want you to know a week or two later, that that it, book it, is powerful. Life. And he came. It is the most powerful. Close, it is the most powerful book I was upon born the earth. And raised in Muslim. And I read the book face to face. Jesus appeared to us. We felt so much peace. We felt so much love. That Jesus book is powerful. Me. Jesus gave me an extension of my life. We want to thank and our precious apostle know. David Taylor for opening this to us. That there were other and books precious Jesus that, that has know. touched us, that has visited true. us, and we love him so, so much. There are other books that were in my face. There was a reason why there are other books in the book. My wife saw Jesus, my daughter saw Jesus. The and I do agree that man, right? And I know that all over the city is happy. The love of the man the have mission, temper, not into ministry. One of the most powerful and out of the relationship, your ministry one of the most powerful books I just want to let on the you earth. Know how amazing this earth. ministry is that I'm part of. And this I book, Face to Face with Jesus by David E. Taylor, powerful, powerful book, changed my whole life. Every and book I remember that's Jesus in the Bible. Said, he came. He was Every all book light, and he was that so is soft in the Bible. And so sweet. That's how we read uh, Face to Face book. Would change your life. Every Lord. book. I don't feel any condemnation. Every book, book that is in the Bible. David Taylor prophesied to me. He said the Lord will reach you. He will give you the understanding that you need. You have to understand the book before you come after the book. 
take out the book, take out of the book. You can only take what you need to take out of the book. Without reading the whole book, you have to read the whole book to understand really what's going on. People are lost. People are lost. He did that, and ever since then, he's just continuing to visit people all over this this nation, all over the world. To read the, book. the message of face to face is going to read that book. Everywhere God says, it's two books that will get me. That will, it was, it was, it's two books that I have read that will wake you up. These are the places David E. Taylor prophesied the Father would physically come down. It's two books that will really straighten you up and really get your attention. There's two books that, that I have read in the Bible that will really get your attention. The Father coming down to earth hasn't been seen that for thousands of years. It's happening again now in the 21st century. That will wake you up. And that's Deuteronomy. Read Deuteronomy. Read the entire book of Deuteronomy. We've been talking the book of Revelation. Venice Farmer was watching storm clouds gather in Grand Falls, Brunswick. Even the book of Matthew. The Lord came down it's a lot of powerful books. David E. Taylor prophesies the Father would make a new The Bible is a powerful book. I believe like what I tell you because I'm telling you by his spirit that that book is powerful. The comes down in St. Louis. And God's word right is the church where David E. Taylor is that preaching. Book. That's God's word. See, because it's beyond, it's bigger than the word. The Holy Spirit is real. God comes. The Holy Spirit will reveal things to you. The Holy Spirit will show you things. The Holy Spirit will show you things. The Holy Spirit will show you who God is. The Holy Spirit will show you who God is. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you. I'm not talking about the Bible. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you about the Holy Spirit. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm. For the Holy Spirit, you pray for the Holy Spirit. Ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit, and I'm telling you, if you believe and if you trust in God, believe me when I tell you, shocking. God will show you things. He will reveal to you what's going on. He will show you. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will show you things. This is what they saw in Moses' day. He will show you. Chicago, the Lord's eyes are seen. God will show you even in dreams. The of the Lord run to and visions. Throughout the whole earth. The Dreams. Visitations. They thought the pillar of God the would allow you to leave your body. It was not. To, sh to show you heaven. In the cloud. God would allow you to leave your body. To show you hell. To believe me when I tell you, it is real. Do not be deceived by the liars. The devil, Lucifer, is a liar. Lucifer and God is not the same. Memphis. Lucifer and Jesus is not the same. See, the enemy attacks the mind. Kazakhstan. He'll put all these thoughts in your head. He'll make you believe that you know the truth, but you don't know the truth. He'll make you believe that you have all the answers. He will deceive you. The face of Jesus Christ appears. He will set you up before you. You do not want to join him in the lake of fire. Jesus you do not want to end up in hell. I'm telling you right now, you better receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. See, people say color. Color, color, color. It's Jesus not about color. To David e. Taylor in service God is a power color. In Chicago, promising him God is a power color. Walking the streets of the city to prepare it for a move it of may, God. Yeah, a you may say that later, it was a description. He takes these pictures and Jesus of the Savior in the, the Holy Bible. Astounding. 
But God is a fall color. You better look at that rainbow. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. David E. Taylor and know what that rainbow means. Israel will now experience visitations from God. Just a few days understand later, and know what it supernatural means. Supernatural trumpets are heard blowing as a ring of clouds and velvet fire appears over Israel. God created the news. Oh, nationality. God created human beings of all race and nationality. God is the creator. Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. If you do not believe, I feel sorry for you. I pray that millions and millions of people that is lost and that is deceived by the devil. The enemy has your mind in captivity. The enemy has you bound. The enemy doesn't know. The enemy doesn't want you to know the truth. At the 2017 See, I'm a spiritual against I'm a spiritual person. I'm a mighty man of God. I'm a spiritual person. Promising to I have a spiritual connection stage to touch with the, the Heavenly Father. Just I have Moses a spiritual connection with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God is using David E. Taylor out of his face and to if face you believe that our God to demonstrate power and miracles. Does not exist, then you are lost. The thing happening in the 21st if you do not century, believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, you are lost, and the enemy has Moses your mind of captivity. He has your bondage now, and you need to, to pray for your freedom. You need to pray for your peace. You need to pray for the love of God. You need to pray that you be delivered. You need to pray that you be set free. He is coming to heal. Because the anointing of God is real. The power of God is real. And it was tight and hard and huge. It's gone. Don't be confused. Don't be confused. What happened over here? You can try to say that you know the truth. You can try to say that you have evidence. You can try to say that you know the truth. You can try to say that you, 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 you have the evidence. You can try to say that you have all the answers. You can try to say that you have everything that you need to have to prove what is what is not the truth. What is false. Because you need evidence, right? But guess what? We have the truth. We have the Holy Spirit. The spirit that's inside of you. Oh, you felt God's power. Yes, yes, given by the Almighty God. Here. That is a part like of God. God. He created us. Not man. Man didn't create us. Man didn't die. Man didn't create us. God created us. Man didn't create us. God created us. So God knows everything. And if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you receive God, God will show you things that you've never seen before. God will show you the truth. God will give you all the answers. We don't listen to the devil like that. We are here to he will lead you and guide you. He is the right way, now. the truth, and the light. You will never have this devil of sickness again. There is no other way. Believe me when I tell you, my brother. That's right. My brother and sister. There is no other way. Repeat out to me, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, forgive my heart to you. I experience. I renounce the demon of I don't been in hell and back. I, I don't have you life and death situations, but it was nobody. Lord Jesus, it was nobody. Lord Jesus, you are Lord of my but life. You are Lord of my life. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. That saved my life. That, that gave me a second chance. That blessed me. It was nobody but God that gave me strength and that gave me peace. That allows me to be here. It's nobody but God that's making me stronger. That's making me more humble. That's giving me a lot of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And that's giving me. never got that word of knowledge ever in my ministry. He's had a spiritual disease that they said there's no cure for. I've been suffering with it for over around seven years. When I heard it, I just there is no hallucinations. Forgive me, my dear. There's no being delusional. There's no being a mental illness or none of that. I am a spiritual person. And believe me, as soon as you said Jesus was in the room and he was touching people, she said the heat was in your life. And he will not inside of you and show you things you've never seen before. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you and he will be the one to speak to you, to tell you the truth. It's bigger than the Bible. Stop running and talking about, stop running your mouth and talking about the Bible. Because you 
you don't even understand what it is that you're reading, but you're trying to say that you know what the Bible was saying, and you're trying to, you're trying to come against the Bible, and say that the Bible was teaching this and teaching that, but you don't want to understand it. He is coming to be with his people. He is coming to see you. God will show him some word if you believe in such a thing. And God cancer. is a God. To be the time that he meets with his people. In 2015, something most phenomenal took place. God is a God of love. Jesus appears before Seek the him. Captured by photo. Seek the truth. Because he is the way. There is no other way. I'm telling you right now, there is no other way. And touch the people himself. It's phenomenal. All of your documents, all your documents, your evidence, you don't believe us, you don't believe us. Your evidence, your documents, you are of the world. And it's, this world and I'm gonna touch my it's polluted by the enemy, by Lucifer and, and his army. That's what you need to understand. That the world is polluted. It's polluted. He's the prince of the air. I want you to get off the stage. He's the one that's making he's the one that's allowing these unbelievers to come against God. Yeah. God is not white. God is not black. God is not aging. If your hands God is of all color. Come on. God is of all color, nationality. You want that face to face. God created all race, all races, all nationalities. You want the face to face glory of God on your life. God created the heavens and the earth. It was not man. The Son of God walked in here. If you want to know the truth, God created everything. The heavens and the earth. He pleased the king of the universe. And you have to believe and trust in him. You have to believe and trust in him. So you do not want to go to a place and burn for the eternity. Be tortured. You think life here on earth is hell? And what you're going to go through here on earth is hell? No, hell is real, my brother. My sisters, hell is real, and I'm telling you right now, this is breaking news. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior before it is too late. He can make you new again. He can make you a born again believer. It's bigger than the Bible. It's bigger than the Bible. It's bigger than religion. It's not having a spiritual connection with the heavenly Father. Jehovah, Jehovah God, and having a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who saved us from going to hell, who saved us from destruction, and now. Because of him, you have a way back to the Father. You have a way to inherit the kingdom of heaven. You have a way for you have a way to live for eternity with no more pain. After many were healed suddenly, no more stress, no more depression, no more pain, no more hurt, no more suffering. God is the way to peace. God is the way to the true love. God is the way to happiness, to salvation, to joy. God is the way to freedom. Believe me. Turn to God. Because He is the way. This is your brother, Andrew Tucker. I love you, you all who watches this video. So you wanted to see if somebody was up yes. God bless you all. And you took the pictures. I will never have so hate towards you. I reached the because I am not a man of hate. And I, snapped that photo. I am a new man and in I God. I am a warrior of God. With his I am a soldier in the army of the right, Lord. Right. And we, on the left side, his children, his warriors will go out and we're going to reach the lost. 
We're going to reach those who are lost. Absolutely remarkable. Those who are bound. Yes, those exactly who mind is in, those who mind is in captivity. Because the enemy Jesus has is them. His glorified body. And we're going to, to, we're going to reach them. And, and the, the Holy Spirit is going to operate through this us. Picture and we're going to reach them. And we're going to set them free. And we're going to bless them. Just like he tells the people. Because God, for you don't believe that lives in us, is going to allow us to reach them. And save their lives. also a group of people gathered together. And that Christ would make the for fall and slain to the ground. And not for the worst. Scripture to take into account. Jesus appeared to Paul for in the God, bright light on for, the road to Damascus. For God is going to show himself. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shine round God is going to show heaven, himself. And he fell to the earth. John in these, Jesus in, in these days, the people want to know and when I saw him, that our I Lord and Savior is, dead, is alive. And that our God is 